welcome to my channel. I'm Nancy and today on Nancy's Bookshelf we are going to be reviewing the book Untouchable by Sam Mariano. This book is, I'm going to tell you right now, it's a good book uh, but it does have some trigger warnings so just keep that in mind when you go to read it. It is a darker book um, so there are some trigger warnings with it. But this is a bully romance um, dark romance book so I would definitely check those if you'd like but I will leave a link for it for the book down in the description box below if you are interested in reading it um, but let me go ahead and give you the synopsis of the book and we will go from there so with that being said the synopsis is the bully isn't supposed to win. Senior year isn't supposed to be off to such a rough start. Lube in my locker, panties on my front porch, and unimaginative name calling is what is happening. See, I got a player in trouble and suspended from the football team. Um, for harassing me. In my small town, you don't mess with the football players. Even if they mess with you first. Football's a big deal in this town. Um, I don't care if it was an unpopular thing to do. I stood up for myself in doing so. Um... I opened up Pandora's box. I never dreamed I would be attracted, would attract the attention of local worship star quarterback Carter. Never imagined his coveted attention would be, would turn out to be such a nightmare. Um, beneath his carefully constructed facade lurks a monster, a predator, looking for the perfect prey to play with. Now, since I'm the girl, in his attention um, and no one believes me that I don't want it. I guess I'm perf I'm a perfect target for his dark games. Um, whether I really want to be or not, Carter will not leave me alone but all he seems to want is me no matter what my options are. Okay. I'm going to set this down for a minute. Um, so I did give this book a three and a half star and a 4.5 star on the spice rating. Um, like I said, the book, I think three and a half stars, I really gave it that because it is a high school bully romance book. And so it's geared towards kind of a younger audience than me so it's not necessarily that there's anything wrong with the book it's just not the book that's for me um again it's a very dark book and you know it's dark and it is meant to be dark the author tells you in the description that the hero of the book the main character isn't necessarily a good guy and when the author tells you he's not a good guy, you know the book's going to be dark. And it is. It's really, really dark. Um, the book has a very dom-sub relationship feel. But it's not really a dom-sub relationship. It's hard to explain. So, in the book, um, they figure out that what Carter really wants is someone he can control um, but also gives him kind of a run for his money when it comes to his smarts and things like that. And so once they figure that out, he asks her if that's something she's willing to do or to try. And with that, she says yes. And because she only said yes once, then it continues throughout the book. In a dom-sub relationship in most books, you're going to see um, 
some sort of contract or something like that written up. And so that's why I'm saying it's not necessarily a dom sub relationship, but it still kind of has that play aspect for it. Um, but again, this is how they play and it's understood on both sides, but it's not like a contracted relationship. Um, and in most cases, there's not any physical, um, like mental harm done to the female main character in the book, minus the bullying, but it's not like the aspect of the physical relationship is giving that, giving her any of the, those issues. Um, in the book itself, the main male character Carter is used to getting what he wants and he pretty much is hard as nails. But the one good thing is he's open to Zoe, who's the female main character, and he is very, very protective of his family and the people he cares about. And so with that being said, he ends up really caring about Zoe and so he ends up becoming very predictive of her. And so most of the bullying and everything ends. And so things end up being much better for her because she does ultimately end up with Carver, Carter. Um, so in the end, it's actually really, really sweet. Um, but like I said, there are trigger warnings to the book. And some of them, even though it's geared towards a younger like high school audience or right out of high school that age right there um, it's the first scene of that book is really really hard to read and so I even almost didn't finish it I almost just set the book down and was like no I don't think I can do this and so in parts of it I really just gazed over it which is why I also didn't um, end up not, I ended up being able to go past it. A lot of it you can just skim through, you don't have to dig deep. You can kind of move past that first scene, which does end up being the first couple chapters of the book. So it is long and it is drawn out. Um, but once you push push past that, the book itself is a very, very spicy. Um, Carter becomes totally vulnerable with Zoe and he still keeps his alpha male um, masculinity, but you can tell he's 100% smitten and he wants to do anything he can to help her. And so in the end, it's just super, super cute and I loved it. And there are just a couple of twists and turns. I actually ended up guessing one of the main big ones, but um, we're not going to go into that because it totally ruined the book if you know what it is before you read the book. Um, but I did. Uh, once I got past that first scene, I did actually really enjoy it. So anyway, that is my thoughts on Untouchable. If you like if you think this is a book you're going to like to read, go ahead and click the link on the in the description box below. And then if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button. And until next time, happy reading, book friends. Bye!